Sandra Azevedo, I graduated at 17. I went away to college. At that time, I was dating someone who was in the Navy. I got married and relocated to Florida. Huge change. About that time, we were there just a little over a year. My spouse got orders, so I had to withdraw from college. Um, our orders took us to the state of Maine. That's where I was for almost three years. Um, my first child was born there. While I was pregnant, my dad passed away um, from cancer. At that time, I was still uh, 20 years old. And my spouse at that time was on the Nimitz. They changed home ports from East Coast to West Coast. Um, that's what brought me to Washington State. Our first year or so of being here, our marriage fell apart. I went through a divorce. I wound up being a single parent for quite a while. I wandered through a wild stage, as I could call it. It was short-lived, a year or two, and I, I just realized, you know, God had a calling on my life and my heart, and I just didn't, I didn't care for the drinking. I didn't, you know, I smoked for a while, so <laughs> I gave it up. I decided I, I just really wanted to focus on, on God. I just really wanted to spend some time in the church, and that was huge as a single parent to have that family around. I had a, a policy of not wanting to date, really, uh, especially not Navy, until I met my husband. Um, we dated for about a year, and we married. In the past two years, of 2018, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It had spread to the lymph nodes. This was in December of 2018. I had surgery, and um, they, they took lymph nodes and did find it. Chemotherapy, uh, radiation, and a whole lot of support from the True Grace community. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, we all need each other. People have been there for me. I want to be there for them. The cancer journey, the whole way I really felt held. God constantly kept me reminded that I was not going through this by myself. My husband never left my side. Trusting and believing and praying had got me through this. I, I just got a all clear from my oncologist. I'm appreciative of the fact that I've had this many years and I hope to have more. And I really believe that God's got more for me to do. But you know, we have a God that's, that's got a life for us beside um, just this one. And um, I think that's gonna be a fantastic place, so.